Yes, sir. You know what time it is. Look, we got another DoorDash driver who didn't got into a verbal altercation with a customer, and this one got super heated. Now, look, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button because we're going to be doing a $100 giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, and you don't want to miss it. Now, check this out. Make sure that, number one, safety first. You don't want to be in no situation like this. You don't want to risk your safety out there doing some DoorDash trying to make a few dollars, right? But secondly, you want to make sure that you don't jeopardize your ability to make money on not only the DoorDash platform, but any other platform that you may be using to pay your bills and make that money. Because let's be honest, doing gig economy work is one of the easiest things you can do without no skill to make a little bit of money. But look, in this video, things got super heated. I mean, I don't know what happened between this DoorDash customer and this uh, driver, but by the time they got there and they started exchanging words, I thought they was finna hop out and start fighting because huh, the customer looked like he was about ready to throw some hands. But look, as always, make sure you're being safe out there. I would not recommend nobody do anything you see in this video, but what I will recommend you do is hit that like button and that subscribe button. Now let's get right into this video. All right, so let's see. They, they just start, you know, throwing the words out there as soon as the video start. I mean, I don't know how long she was sitting there for, but you know, they immediately start arguing as soon as this video starts. So that's how you know it was already. I don't know if they was messaging each other in the in 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 that messaging or they was texting each other through regular text messages. But by the time they start verbally exchanging words, you can you can hear the level of emotion in each one of their voices. Let's go ahead and check it out. But, sir, you don't have to be rude with me and you don't have to be so aggressive. Wow. There was an issue with the app and I'm recording you by video right now and I'm sending this to DoorDash. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm just asking you. See, this is why it's important that you don't argue with the customer because you can get deactivated for that. So you I are. Do. You are. I'm informing you. I texted you. There was an issue with the app. And I'm coming out here to tell you where I am. You're sitting in front of my house. You texted me and said that you didn't know where I was. So I came out here to show you that you're at the right place. I'm not doing anything wrong. I was just telling you you're at the right place. You you I, slammed at my window. Because you were looking down. I was trying to get your attention. I just knocked on your window. I didn't slam it. I knocked on your window to get your attention. If you're going to be such a, a crybaby, then don't do this anymore. I Man, stop playing with me. What? Delivered DoorDash 2. And I don't appreciate this. I didn't do anything wrong. You're the ones who messed up. Messed up what? Tell me what did I mess up? Tell me what did I mess up? in a completely different direction than what it said on the... You went... Uh, my, my house is right near the restaurant. They should have sent you right over here. I have two orders, I sir. I didn't know that. It didn't say that on the thing. So I'm, why why are you being why are you being aggressive with me? I have done nothing to you other than do my very you're best. You're not doing your job. Man, stop playing with me. What? You're, I I wanted my food. That's all I wanted. You're at the right place. You sent me a voicemail. I came outside to tell you I'm at the right so place. So I called you. I texted you, yeah, and I was trying outside. to text you to see where you are. You are the and one I coming and slamming. I was outside. I was outside my house. I was telling you you're at the right place. You had your head down. You couldn't. You didn't. You didn't see me. I knocked on your window to get your attention to tell you that you're at the right place and to give me my food so you can leave. I've been waiting for this forever. There doesn't have to be a problem. I didn't do anything wrong. Now just leave and go do your other your deliveries and tell DoorDash. I don't care. I'm recording you too. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Now we didn't watch the video. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on what we just saw. Man, that DoorDash customer would have had me messed up. That'd have been the day I could just said, forget everything. We about to bang over this order. Cause for one, you done knocked on my window. How dare you touch my car? For two, who the hell is you talking to, boy? Do you do you understand? Like, he lucky it was a female he was talking to, because I guarantee he wouldn't have said that kind of stuff to a male DoorDash driver. But look, at the end of the day, that's just me. An emotional response to what I just saw, because it seems like he was giving that lady a hard time, and I really didn't like it. I really didn't like it. But who was in the wrong? Was the driver in the wrong? Was the customer in the wrong? It seemed like she was just a little bit confused on where the address was at. She was in the middle of trying to figure it out. And it seemed like he just ain't had time for none of that. He wanted his food. He wanted it in that. He didn't care about if they had stacked his order. He didn't care about, you know, none of that. All he cared about was he placed his order. He'd been waiting. He probably didn't tip. He said he lived close to the restaurant, so why the hell you ain't gonna pick it up yourself? Look, I'm not here to say who is right or wrong in the situation. 
I just bring you what I see. I want to hear your thoughts and opinion on it, but I'm going to tell you right now, this would have been what, I, what got me deactivated because he would have had me all the way messed up. I don't play none of that. Now, look, if, if I make a mistake, I, I understand that. I'll ex I, I, I made the mistake, but that don't mean you get to talk to me any old kind of way. Because look at here, what you got to realize is the type of stuff you're saying, them is fighting words. And you trying to sit up here and act all tough. Nah, big boy, we don't play that. But look, I don't condone no violence. I don't want nobody risking their DoorDash account. Just don't have no altercation like this with a customer. But if you do, just make sure that you record it and try not to, you know, argue with the customer. Don't put yourself in a compromising position to where you could be risking your DoorDash account, your money, all over a stupid argument with a customer. Because at the end of the day, DoorDash is going to keep taking their money from orders and they're going to deactivate you first. So protect yourself and make sure you're doing what's right for you. But at the same time, don't let nobody disrespect you out here either. And no, look, ain't no way he would have said all that stuff to me and got away with it. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. He wouldn't have to buy word about reporting it to DoorDash or contacting them because it would have all been in the police report. Who the hell is you talking to? For one. For two, hi, are you touching my car? I mean, I'm, I, we probably already would have been fighting just on the strength of that. How dare you come and knock on my damn window? What the hell wrong with you? You know, people didn't, boy, let me not even go there. But look, let me know what you guys think in this video. Let me know who you think was in the right, who you think was in the wrong. What would you have done if this was you in that situation? But look, as always, Go ahead, hit me with a like and a subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.